Many investors will be glad to see the end of 2008, but there may be no respite in the M&A slowdown when it comes to next year, with 2009 predicted to be the slowest for takeovers in half a decade. Ryan Chilcote has more. M&A activity has always been volatile, but there is no question which way it has been going recently. The credit squeeze and global financial crisis have put an end to the levels that became the norm in the early part of the decade, but a new driver of deals may be about to emerge. Bloomberg has learned Deutsche Bank, Citibank and JP Morgan have all begun hiring experts on natural resources in anticipation of a corporate buying frenzy. The small and mid-cap businesses in the natural resources sector, oil and gas, mining and metals, normally raise initial funding, get exploration going, raise subsequent funding. That subsequent funding is currently at risk due to the lack of IPOs, the lack of credit in the market, but the big blue chips have a war chest, have some money available, and they see these potential companies as very, very good assets that are undervalued in the current market. At the end of the third quarter, natural resource stocks on London's alternative investment market were the most undervalued. Mega deals like BHP's failed bid for Rio Tinto may have stalled, but FTSE companies like BHP are well placed to go after smaller, less costly prey. And in some cases, it may be cheaper to go after their resources than dig for them themselves. Thanks to the crisis, government induced mergers are also assured a spot as a driver in the financial sector. More than a third of the 20 biggest acquisitions announced in the fourth quarter were government-induced, such as the Dutch government taking control of Fortis Bank in the Netherlands. And another government back group is likely to take on a larger role in the market, too. We'll see sovereign wealth funds. Um, we'll see uh, smaller deals backed by equity, um, more cross-border deals. Mergers and acquisitions won't reach the record level seen two years ago anytime soon. But thanks to the crisis, those with their hands on the world's natural resources, analysts say the beginnings of a comeback are in the works. Ryan Chilcote, Bloomberg.